Cape Coast Castle, one of the remnants of the transatlantic slave trade along Ghana's coastline. The structures here remind people of their ancestors who were forcibly shipped across the Atlantic and sold into slavery over 400 years ago. The difficulty in reconciling with the crimes committed in the past by Europe and the US is part of the reasons many campaigners are calling for compensation. The demand for reparations is not an attempt to rewrite history or to continue the cycle of victimization. It's a call to recognize the undeniable truth and the right the wrongs that have gone unpunished for far too long and continues to thrive presently. 56 heads of government, including the UK Prime Minister, met at a summit in Samoa in October and discussed the calls for reparations. Ghana's Foreign Affairs Minister, Shelley Ayokobuche, was appointed as the new Secretary General of the Commonwealth. They agreed that it is time to have a deep conversation about reparatory justice. But the UK's Prime Minister, Keir Starmer, made it clear that his country would not pay reparations. I'm disappointed, but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised they've said it over and over again. Um, and of course, we do not expect that they will uh, accept it just like that. Um, but I think there has to be reckoning. I think they have to realize that this is about reckoning. Campaigners for reparations say they will not back down on their demands. Uh, people across the world are waking up to say that you must be accountable for what you did. You must be held accountable for what you did. And why not? You are the ones who are preaching to us about personal accountability, preaching to us about the need to hold um, everybody accountable for actions that, that, that they may have done. And yet you do not want to be held accountable for these serious crimes. Some Western countries, including the UK, Germany and France, have admitted wrongs committed during the colonial era. But there are still calls for a formal apology for the role they played in the transatlantic slave trade. The campaigns for financial reparations for Africa have not yielded the desired results in the past. Still, African governments and activists want to work together to ensure that their demands are met. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Accra, Ghana.